welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in this is going to be a dark lip and a touch of glitter in the eyes today and I am just gonna go ahead and jump right into this video I have already done my brows if you would like to see how I get my brows done I have a video for that so go ahead and check that out and right now I am just priming my lid and I am using the MAC concealer Studio Finish Concealer in NC50 and I am setting that with the Benai Banana Powder to prevent any creasing. Make sure the eyeshadow looks actually pop a little bit more than it would without any concealer underneath. And I am just doing both eyes and also setting around my brows because I did put some concealer there. And now for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Morphe palette, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and I'm using this burgundy shade. And I'm going to put that right in my crease and use windshield wipe motions and also circular motions to blend that out upwards a little bit. Make sure um, there are no harsh lines or patchiness. So definitely, I uh, will take my time to blend this out. Just blending, and I'm using this brown uh, shade from the same palette, and I'm gonna put that right in my crease using the windshield wipe motions as well. Just blending, blending, blending. Blending is the key, guys. And now I am taking this light brown shade. I'm going to put that all over my lid using a flat brush. Now I'm going to line my eyes and I'm using this Jewel Stroke Eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner that I like to use and I'm going to use that to do a wing line. Not a very long wing line but a very short um, wing line but a wing line nonetheless. <laughs> And um, I made a little mistake here, so now I'm just cleaning the edges out with my concealer to make the tip of the wing line a bit sharper. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my other eye. And now I'm going to line my waterline, and I'm using this uh, MAC eyeliner, and this is the Smolder eyeliner pencil. I'm just going to use that to line my waterline. And now for the glitter, I'm going to be using this NYX glitter eyeliner and I'm going to put that right on top of the duo eyeliner that I drew and I'm going to do a wing line with this as well. I didn't want too much glitter, just a touch of glitter so I just did a very thin line with the glitter eyeliner right on top of the duo eyeliner. I 
and I'm just doing the same thing for the other eye. Now you like Now for my lashes, I'm going to be wearing this Aramika lash and I am going to use my dual eyelash glue and I'm just going to put my lashes on. I have a video on how I wear my lashes. If you would like to see an in-depth video or tutorial on how I put on my lashes, go check that out. <laughs> Now for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Lancome foundation and this is the Lancome Tiet Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup Foundation and I couldn't find my exact shade in this so I'm going to be mixing two shades. So I am going to be using the colors. African 430 and 465 I'm mixing those two colors to get my exact shade and I'm just gonna put that all over my face and blend that out and now I'm going to highlight, I'm going to be using this Sephora highlighter and I'm going to put that all um, in the high points of my face, my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, my chin, you know the drill. So I'm going to speed this up, I'm, I'm sure you've seen me do this so many times. But my routine has not changed, it's still the same, I always like to highlight whenever I'm doing the full makeup look. Now I'm going to blend that out using a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend everything with that beauty blender using tapping motions. Not swiping motions, but tapping motions. Just tap everything in. going to use the same brush I use for my foundation for the edges to kind of blend out the lines to make sure there are no harsh lines around the edges between the concealer and the foundation and now I am going to contour I'm going to be using using the Fenty Beauty contour stick and this is in the color espresso and I'm just going to contour um, my forehead my nose my cheeks my chin because after using foundation and highlighter, it kind of makes the face look a bit flat. So you want to bring some definition back to the face and bring the shape of your face back. So that's why you need the contour to do that. So I'm just contouring. I'm not contouring too much today, but I am definitely going to contour so you can actually see some definition on my cheekbones. And also my forehead and my chin. And then I'm just going to blend that out. And when I'm blending the um, the concealer and the foundation, or rather the uh, contour on my cheeks, I always like to blend it upwards because that gives it a nice gradient and makes your cheekbones pop up a little bit more. And now I'm just blending the concealer and the contour on my forehead. And I'm going to use a smaller brush to blend the contour on my nose as well.
Now I'm going to set everything and I'm going to start by setting the highlighter and I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to set all the areas that I highlighted. And I'm actually going to bake for a few minutes today. Okay, and after baking for a few minutes, I'm going to be using this uh, brush by Sephora. I like this brush to actually dust away the excess powder because of the way it's shaped. It's shaped like a little egg. And I just use that to dust off the excess powder on my face. And now I am going to set the contour and I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, powder bronzer and this is in the color mahogany. I'm going to use that to set all the areas that I contoured. Now uh, to set my entire face, I am going to be using this uh, powder by MAC and this is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. I'm going to use that to set the whole face so everything blends together. And now for my blush, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush and this is the blush trio. And I'm going to be mixing the exotic and desert together. And we put that on the apples of my cheeks. And now I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Amrezy and I'm going to use this highlighter to highlight my cheekbones, to highlight my nose, to highlight my cupid's bow. You know the drill guys, this is the, my favorite part of my makeup routine is the highlight, so we always have to highlight. The bridge of my nose. Now for my lips, I am lining my lips using the MAC Chestnut uh, Lip Liner. I'm just going to line all over my lips with that and then I'm going to use my lipstick. Give you all you want, won't be long. I could take it all around the world. My like my anytime I deal with you, girl, I sing Rosanna. Cause now you get my sexy mama, sexy mama. Wanna take you to see mama, sexy mama, sexy mama. I love you, love you, love you, love you too. And for my lipstick today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. And this is in Drop Dead Red. I'm going to put that all over my lip. I wanted a, a bold lip today and I felt like this color would go very well with the eye look that I was doing. Anytime I deal with you, girl, I sing Rosanna. Cause now you get my sexy mama, sexy mama. Wanna take you to see mama, sexy mama, sexy mama. I go love you, love you, love you, love you too. Sexy me like that.
Now to set everything, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Setting Spray. I'm just going to spray that all over my face to keep the makeup in place. And that's the finished look, guys. This is the end result. And I just decided to comb my hair and put in a ponytail today. And I am um, very, very happy and thankful that you watched this video to the end. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you like this bold look today, this bold lip look, definitely uh, put some comments down below. And if you have any suggestions or anything else that you would like to see, don't forget to comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. I hope you enjoy my videos so far. If you have any suggestions, as I said, don't hesitate to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And hit that bell button so you get notified when I post a video. And thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate all the love that I've been getting from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.